Death at the gates again. All in my name. Can't greet you today. I have a war to win. Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Wolfenstein The New Order Uber Difficulty video walkthrough. This is chapter 2. This is Asylum, and as you can see, I'm showing you exactly how to use the throwing knives, which are my favourite weapon in this game. A lot of people might not really understand that, but it's an instant silent kill that can be re-picked up, and it's about as powerful as it gets. It does not work on the heavies, it obviously does not work on anything mechanical, but it's so empowering in a stage such as this, which... For the most, you can stealth this entire level up until you hit the button to go outside, and then for some reason, everybody knows you're there. Uh, I'm not too sure about the, the particulars on why that is, I just assumed it was, you know, your video games. But, I, I really like this level a lot. Once again, it it looks kind of fucking ugly, but it's not the game's fault, guys. It's, it's the console's limitations. Like, on next gen, this probably looks beautiful. And on this game, it, it's co and on this sorry, on, on this console, it's competent. It's just really buck toothed ugly at times. And luckily enough for me, is I came from an era of gaming where shit didn't look good. I mean, it looked good for the day, but in the grand scheme of things, you you kind of played it for what it was rather than what it looked like. So I've never really been the biggest graphics snob. I've never really been that stereotypical PC master race type of person. So I don't mind that it looks kind of fugly. It's just a shame that there's a lot of people that probably won't play it on that very simple premise because it looks bad. But to my left in this room is a dude. There he is. He comes from the other room because there's actually an open doorway just here. And if you click on this section, which I don't particularly do it as quick as I, I would do it now, now that I'm a little bit more experienced, you can pass through this entire room knifing everybody really swiftly. And I'm going to do a, a decent example of that just not as quickly as it can be done. And as you get to this door, you'll notice you can hear somebody saying something. That means that for whatever reason, I have notified the guy in that doorway that I'm here. And as you saw, nobody really saw me. There's no real reason for that to be uh, a problem, but he just aggros. And because I shot my gun, it's going to attract anybody else in this place, which the shotgun is brutal up close, but it definitely suffers at range, just like every shotgun you've ever used. This level, for the most, is pretty damn simple. It gets tricky when you get outside, but if you clip the door, like the way I'm going to show you, you can mitigate all of the threat and the challenge of it. The only real problem at that point onwards is the drones that get released. The drones on this game are probably, for me, the second most dangerous enemy in the game because they, they fly quite erratically. They do like a, a kamikaze suicide move and they strip your shield and your health incredibly quickly. And it's one of those things where sometimes you can get a really awkward drone that completely screws you and there's no recovering from the damage they can do. Later on in the game when we enter the London Nautica, you're gonna see me take a, a whole bunch of damage off of two drones after clearing an entire room full of dudes quite competently and then getting shown up by the drones, which means and you've got to be careful with them, you can't take them lightly. Not that I ever do, they just, they bummed me for whatever reason. Something worth noting as well here, for anybody going for the perks, as I myself was the other day, there's one perk for using the assault rifle and getting, I think it's 80 kills from cover. And a lot of people are wondering why it's not working, wondering why it's not registering, and for some reason on this game, Cover only counts on those kills if when you're up against a surface, it gives you the, the arrow directionals around your reticle. If you see those like they're just then, to the left, if I were to hold the left bumper while that reticle was on the screen and I was that close to the cover and lean out, that would class as me being in cover. And every kill I made from that position would be one towards that goal. So anybody struggling with that, just get to a piece of cover in a busy room, wait for those periphery notifications and then just do the lean feature and rack those kills up. It took me a while to figure that out because the game really should count them properly but it doesn't for whatever reason. But this is outside. Uh, that is the, the nurse we're after and there is a ton of dudes in this place. So lean around the corner and start cleaning them up with the assault rifle. 
So there's a grenade. Try to get away from it. Luckily enough, it was in the back far corner. Not too bad. And always be aware on this game that enemies can be quite quiet. Sometimes they'll sit behind things and you'll not even know that they were there. And as you run forward, they pop up and they can do a lot of damage if they catch you out. But we know there's more guys left because we've not killed everybody. And the game is generally very good when it comes to its audio cues. Like the audio cues will tell you when people are dead. They'll tell you when people are spawning. Sometimes the music can be great for that. A lot of the times when, the, when everything is dead, people talk. So you want to rely on the, the just the little tips and hints that the game gives you to, to notify you that you're progressing. And to some people this might sound like wizardry, to, but to people who've played games for a while, it's a, it's a mechanic that happens a lot. But here come the drones. The shotgun is really good for them when they get close, but when they get close it also means that they're able to do damage to you. And they're at the most dangerous when they are close, so just be very careful. But this room offers quite a lot of safety, as you can see. The drones are having a tough time getting in here. Everything else was pretty simple. Now we can run around picking shit up, which I don't really recommend doing too much at the end of levels because chances are in the next level you're going to lose everything you had anyway. The game doesn't really seem to keep things, which is one of my detriments of it. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Like the shotgun I picked up just then. We're not going to be able to use that shotgun for at least a handful of levels. Until we're in the sewers, I believe. So you just lose it for the next few levels. Not that it's the most useful weapon, but should you choose to want to use it, the game takes away that functionality. And it's a bit of a shame. But thank you for watching, and as always, you take care.